right guys, we just pulled into a little job we're going to try to tackle this morning. I don't know if I'd call this one little. It's quickly growing to, let's call it a good medium sized job. But I uh, got the 304 down here, got the skid steer down here, and we got a bunch of obstacles to work around. Let me get, uh, let me get tracked around behind the house here and I'll show you what we got. All right, guys, here's what we got going this morning. Besides a maze of utilities we've got to work around. Absolute maze. They are running everywhere. Like, who needs water and electric and phone? Apparently these people. But what we got is we're going to put, somebody started on this and never finished. He's wanting to put a retaining wall down through here. So basically we're going to start that white pipe. We got to dig that back, square it off. And these blocks... I'm not real familiar with these blocks. They're supposed to be in a little bit, but apparently they need a 40 by 40 inch wide, four inch deep pad. So we're gonna get one of those dug in here and uh, see what we got. But we got electric, phone, and somewhere looming in here is the water line that goes from the house to the garage. And nobody has any idea where it's at. So hopefully we don't find it and it's still a mystery at the end of the day. But uh, since I'm gonna be digging those marks out, I actually come back here and put me offset marks. So I kinda know what I got. So I'm gonna get this machine leveled up. We're gonna put it in the skid steer and uh, pack the dirt back there out of the way. And uh, yeah, see what happens. Let's do this. All right, guys, I'm just trying to get myself kinda set up in here. I'm kinda, hope this ground is frozen and I'm kinda halfway hanging off a cliff here, so. Just trying to get down close to the main, I don't know, depends on what we run into here. We may spot dig this electric line and confirm their depth. The locator was nice enough to uh, mark the elevation of the line parts or the depth of the line, uh, which is good, but I don't always, I don't always trust those guys. Uh, they're only usually pretty close but I don't want to be reliant on that I'd like to have a confirmation one way or another so put that in there to help level myself up so we can take a nice pretty ditch so let me scratch around here a little bit we'll get down there close see what we can find and uh, yeah check in a minute All right, guys, we're getting down close. If you actually look, you can see where the dirt changes right there is one. You can see where the dirt changes right here is the other. We're about four or five inches from where we need to be, so we're just gonna kind of spot dig at. Make sure we still got depth to go and double check her.
All right, guys, here's where we're at. We have made it past all the utilities. Uh, most of them were deep enough or back far enough with the exception of this one. This one here actually feeds the garage. Good news, smoke's still on the wire, so that's good. I got a little bit to finish digging out right there, but all of our uh, retaining wall blocks have showed up, which are on that truck right there. Uh, Chris is actually gonna get all those unloaded while I finish digging out that corner, and then we'll uh, move on to getting them set. But that's them. All right, guys, this is where we're at. I had to run and go get a lifting chain because uh, I thought the people that brought the uh, rock was going to have one, but they didn't. But we basically got four inches of gravel in there. Chris is going to run the plate compactor on it. And then we'll probably start right up here on this end in this corner. We got one block over here. One block's a little bit different than the rest, I'll show you. It's actually uh, pretty on multiple sides instead of just the front. So yeah, this one right here is our corner block. See how it's pretty on three sides instead of just the front. So we'll get that one set in the corner, probably get us a string line, and then uh, we'll head on down through there and see what we got. All right guys, we got our pad all done. We're gonna get this first block set, this corner block, and it probably stretches the string down through there, get us a good line going. little truck will lift these things oh yeah you may have to get two pieces of pipe back here right you can uh, snack them I think them other blocks are wider too, you gotta keep that in mind. We gotta make sure they're level and all that first one's level. Yeah. Alright guys, we set that block in there. We thought that was the bottom one and it could be the bottom one. But it makes more sense to set one of these blocks in there on the bottom. Because the end of it is not going to be seen because it's uh, too far down the dirt over there. I don't know if you can see over there. So uh, we're going to yank that one up. Set this one in here. I got a feeling these are a little bit heavier than that last one picked up. Oh yeah, we got her though. Set this girl down in here and then we'll get our string lined up. So it's got two nice, perfectly little D size. You know what's on top. Chris, we can we can take that back a little bit if you want to. It's up to you. You like it where it's at? We can bring it back this way too. Because... You got plenty of room there. Oh yeah, that's concrete. Okay. It's all about money, son. Alrighty, guys, we got our first block set. We got our fancy pink string in there. We're gonna set a few more down through here and see how she goes. Sit on. Can you pull this 
Maybe I'll turn just a little bit. That's, yeah, that's about right. Mike. All right, guys, slight discovery, possible flaw in the plan. These pumps are like two inches difference between this one and that one. You can almost see it right there. So we're going to set a few more and see how they look, but I'm thinking this may be the straight line we're supposed to line it up on. Yes, I did read the instructions, and no, it don't have any good examples of how to do it, at least the instructions I got. So we're going to go with that here and uh, eyeball her out and see how she works. So that's the plan for now. I'll sit you guys back over here and let you watch. Alrighty, there's what she looks like at the end of the day. I think it turned out pretty good. Chris, what do you think? Good. You're the boss. You're the homeowner. That's great. You gotta tell everybody you were like my first employee I ever had. And you worked for what? Maybe 20 minutes? Cut my fingers. And then we were in the ER. He's also my first workman's comp claim. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Anyways, there's the wall. It's looking pretty sharp. It's uh, getting late on a Friday. We're gonna have to call it quits for today. We'll be back tomorrow and uh, finish her off down there around the corner. So see you in the morning. All right, guys, it's the next day. We got uh, we got as far as we could yesterday working on the other side of the pool there. It kind of ended up being just a good uh, good generic stopping spot. So I'm gonna tilt you down here so you can see. But basically what we got to do today get the rock base in here. These are supposed to be 53s. They're from another quarry. I think that's what they used to clean up their lot. I ain't sure what they are to be honest with you. But I'm sure they'll work. But anyways, we gotta get uh, get the base in over on this side. We're gonna get a couple of uh, blocks set down to this corner right here. And then we're thinking instead of making the 90, uh, we're gonna go and kind of maybe just arc on out, but uh, Not a really got a plan set in stone on that. So we're just kind of Taking her easy. So let's get this base in here and then we'll get back to setting blocks and see which direction we end up going All right guys, I'll give you a quick little update we spun around here and got the rest of this corner uh, Got the rest of this corner dug out got a little bit of an arch in there a little bit up there are these blocks about how they're going to stack around there, but... There's only one way to find out. According to the instruction manual, I glanced over. They should, uh, they should stack around there just fine, so... We could just rock in here, get it compacted, and then we'll start to... Uh, Stay tuned. 
best advice I got. Chris is getting flaked on back to fired up. He's gonna get all this gravel in we got. I'm gonna hop in the skid steer and we're going to uh, all the retaining wall stones the way over on the driveway. So we're gonna pack around, set them here behind the track. Oh, I got myself set up there where we can uh, reach them, I believe. So put the forks on and go get some blocks. Got our 
everybody's good and compacted. We're gonna start setting and see what happens. I'll set you guys over here and let you watch. All right, guys, I didn't do the best job of this at the end of this, so I just wanna jump in here real quick and give you my thoughts on this wall. So basically this wall is kind of a four part system, I guess, if you would. You got the base block, which is these, which has the uh, a flat bottom on them, and then you guys can call them whatever you want on top of them. We'll call them domes to make it uh, politically correct. And then the um, they make a, what I call a line block or a straight block, which you would have a, um, a dome or it would have a thing in the bottom of the block to accept the uh, domes. And then the top block, which is what we set down there on the far end, which is basically finished on either two, th two or three sides to go on there. And then finally, if you wanted to, they do make a capstone where you can cap off the wall. So you guys can build, I mean, you can build a really, really sexy wall with this. Now... I'm sure somebody's familiar with these and they're going to comment, well, you need to put uh, geofabric behind it or you need to tie it together with this, you need to tie it together with that and do different things. And you guys are 100% correct with one exception. We're only going two block high. If you're only going two block high, that stuff's not required for what we're doing. So that's why you will not see us doing any of that stuff in this particular uh, video. But uh, if you do go more than, I think it's three blocks high, uh, you do have to do that stuff. These particular blocks here are four foot long, 18 inches tall, and two foot deep. Uh, that's one. That's probably the one complaint I had about them is the width, the sizing. The height always seems to be very consistent, but the width and the depth seem to vary quite a bit. So it, it's kind of you really got to rely on your eyeball to make sure you're doing a straight line because there's just not a lot of straight straight lines on them. But for the most part, I don't have a lot of complaints about them. Uh, I got different ideas in mind already to do uh, future walls. Uh, of course, anytime you do it the first time, you, it's kind of a learning curve, so you kind of got to figure figure that out a little bit. But uh, we got her figured out. We we're moving along. We got to moving along pretty good. Of course, towards the end here, we were getting it figured it out, and we could have kept on trucking on pretty good. I think this next block we set here is the one I was talking about that had the um, lifting eye broke on it. And we ended up just grabbing another lifting eye on the back and kind of folded her over and then uh, schmoozed her into place there. And uh, we were very gentle with these blocks. We did not disturb the uh, texture on them. I tried to stay off the face as much as possible. If I was on the face, uh, I made dang sure I stayed extremely, um, extremely gentle with it. But uh, no, I, man, they are, they are some good looking blocks and they do make a nice retaining wall. And it's just like any retaining wall you ever do, getting the first course, first course in there is always the most difficult. Once you get that first first course down, you can usually uh, truck on truck on pretty good from there. So I don't know. We probably had maybe oh let me think. We may maybe had maybe three and a half four hours of um, actually setting the block. We had more time in digging it out because we had to get in around all those. Uh, utilities and everything but uh, for the most part it went really smooth as you guys will see here in the end um, Chris basically ordered a semi load of these a sem uh, this is all they could haul on one truck his main goal was just to get the base in and get it, it, it established so he can get his yard cleaned up he wants to do a little bit of uh, concrete work and then uh, do a little bit of landscaping and some yard work around there and then uh, he'll get another uh, semi load this spring. He don't need another full semi load, so I think he's just trying to catch a load coming through. And setting that last course on there will be easy peasy. So, anyways, that's my thoughts. Let's uh, let's check out what we did here. All right, guys, here's where we're at. We got the last block set that we have, and uh, I think we're pretty happy with the way this radius turned out, isn't we? It's fantastic. Couldn't ask for anything better. Got uh, spaghetti junction going over there, but we'll deal with that in a minute. We got a couple plumbing issues. Downspout drain, we're tying in. This is a foundation drain. We're tying in there, and then behind this wall, uh, that pipe there is solid for downspout drains. This pipe here is perforated for uh, wall drainage. So, the last thing we're going to do for now is we got a pile of clean rock over there. We're gonna get that dumped in here behind the wall and get it all tidied up. And then he's got, uh, he wants to do a few things around his pool. And he wants to get some concrete poured in here. And then this is a semi load of stone. So we got, the, we got the bottom in and established. And then this is how many top stones I can get on a semi load. And then uh, this spring, after he gets all this in here and all that down over there, we'll probably come back in here and get that uh, 
topped off. Just kind of getting kind of getting ahead of the game, if you would. So, anyways, I'm gonna hop on the skid steer and uh, get some rock in this girl. We're about ready to wrap this one up, boys and girls, and viewers watching. Guys, stay with me and make sure I don't overfill that. Yeah, you're good. You only got like a bucket for us. Uh... I'm gonna dump it here on the end. You ready? Alright, you guys get the idea. Let's hit high gear. guys there it is after it's all said and done we got the rock in there and uh got the nice little curve in there everything turned out pretty nice uh keep in mind this job is not done this is just the end end of this phase um after he gets his landscaping and uh everything else done like i said this is what they could bring on one semi load so we went ahead and go ahead and get this in that top one i'm rambling that top row will go in there real easy so now you got a truck coming this way again we'll come in there and pop those in and be good to go but uh, yeah, these lifting eyes here, I think there's another thing. I need to look into it a little more. They're not centered 
and the block is just so far off uh, from one to the other. But overall, overall, I really don't have any complaints. They're really nice looking block. They stack good. I think they'll do a good job. Um, but most of my pains were just the first time using them. I think uh, as we get more experience with them, they'll be uh, super handy. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll catch you on the next one.